When lights go out. So we're gonna actually put in some deep shelves. I would have never guessed it was that. So it's just you and I. And on this side, Emily's closet. Got the plywood installed. We're gonna do another round of prime, and then we can finish paint Emily's closet. Thinking we'll we'll probably mock up her closet system in here so we can see basically if we put it in the middle, do we have enough room to get stuff in over here and get things up in on her shelf over here. We may need to shade it that way so we can just do clothes over there or we'll have to figure that out. When we were finished priming, Edison helped me put on a coat of pink paint. And we realized, like Brian was explaining there at the beginning, that once we put in the central unit in the middle, we wouldn't be able to reach things in the shelves or hang things up very easily in the back corners. So we ended up coming up with a new plan and installing the unit we were going to put in the middle of the closet actually right into that corner cubby that happened to just fit exactly perfectly. You had to I chose pink for the color inside my closet, just a real pale pink, and it's actually the color we used to have our bedroom painted before I realized I really didn't like it in there, <laughs> and then painted it back to white, but I think it's perfect in my closet, just for that little surprise pop of pink in there. this half of it but it was some time before we were able to get back to Ikea to get the rest of the things we needed to finish off the other side. And a couple months later we were finally able to make it back to Ikea to get a second unit that fit in the other side with some drawers and a couple of new closet rods that are matching. <laughs> I said I need to get my hand point and just knock that. Do you think yes. that will work? It removes wood, so yes. Yeah, so I know, work. but that's a lot to plane. Oh, it's not? Okay. ish closet. And here is my spring capsule wardrobe that I will get into. I did end up managing to squeeze a little bit of art in here. shoes and these will actually still open without disturbing the plant. And here I have my off-season sweaters. And up here I have skirts, dresses, and then spring and summer clothes. Everything that's not in my capsule wardrobe. And then I have my heels. I want a pair of black heels these shoes that I have not worn yet and just bought to replace the ones that I'm wearing now when they finally are unwearable. Up here I have my sentimental stuff and then at the very top I have my two pairs of booties. Okay so here's why this is not finished because this mirror situation is going to change. <laughs> I just have it propped up on my box of journals right now, so that's gonna change. I'm gonna get a big mirror here. 
here that will be mounted to the wall. But unfortunately, it did not arrive in time for this video. If it does arrive before Friday, then I'll film it and pop it in here. The only problem with this existing mirror is that it's too small for the space. I want something that takes up a little more room. So I'm really excited for the mirror that I ordered to arrive. But I love this rug. I bought this for five bucks at a reused place. And I just love that it makes it feel a little cozy in here. Then I've got my hair tools over here. My purse back there for safekeeping. So here is my spring capsule wardrobe. So we can get into that. You'll be back again When the stars are aligned We will dance In the meadow On our favorite place When spring is coming capsule wardrobe not a whole lot of things to show <laughs> to be honest because I'm doing the 10 by 10 challenge this spring which is you wear 10 items for 10 days it was started by Courtney Carver who is on Instagram she's be more with less and she wrote the book and started the challenge project 33 which is creating a capsule wardrobe of 33 items. It's been a little while since I've done a true capsule wardrobe. So when I saw a friend of mine on Instagram, my simplicity story was doing this for her summer wardrobe. I decided no matter time, like the present, to just jump in and do it. So I'm looking forward to having this kind of little reset, just refresh, uh, wear some new to me pieces, and get some new outfit ideas and inspiration. So let me show you what we got, starting with this. So I wanted to include one long sleeve shirt in my capsule wardrobe, and you guys voted for this on Instagram. It has like uh, gathered sleeves and a little bit of puffed sleeve at the shoulder. It's from J. Crew, and I got it at the J. Crew outlet. It's perfect for spring because it's not too thick, but it's nice when I want something just a little bit warmer than a short sleeve shirt. Dark blue distressed jeans that are from Old Navy and my rose gold toms. This shirt also looks really good under my overalls. These are my Old Faithful hidden brand, um, hidden jeans brand overalls, which I love still and I'm really excited to wear these a lot this spring. These pair really nicely with all of the shirts I have in my capsule wardrobe. Actually, I have it um, set up so that I have these overalls, and then I have this pair of jeans, and I have a pair of denim shorts, and then all of my shirts can mix and match with any of those. So sticking with the bottoms, these are my shorts. These are from Target and they have all these buttons. They are quite stretchy, maybe a little bit too stretchy, but I really like them. They're very, they're pretty high race, waisted, high rise midi. They are a universal thread brand, pretty much perfect pair of shorts. Okay, for shirts. So this shirt was new to me, but I got it at my friend Kimmy's garage sale last summer. It has this little lace detail on the sleeves and at the bottom. It's originally from Old Navy. It's kind of like a cotton tunic, I would say. I have been looking for a shirt like this, something that's like loose and flowy and breezy. So I was really excited to find it at her garage sale. And I'm looking forward to seeing ways that I can style it. It feels a little out of my regular comfort zone of t-shirts and jeans. So I'm looking forward to getting creative with that. Speaking of t-shirts, I'll show you two t-shirts that I thrifted. I thrifted these 
at the beginning of spring. I got these both from the consignment store. This one is H&M brand. It's like a cream color with these teeny tiny black polka dots. It's super soft and flowy. It just has a really cool shape and cut to it. It's like I said, it's H&M brand. But this one is J. Crew brand. And of course I love navy. So I was immediately drawn to this. But then I also just love it because of the pun. The fact that it's leopards, leopard print, because it's a print of leopards, but it's also leopard print. It's an animal print. Yeah, you get it. I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> And I really love this shirt too. It's super soft cotton. I already wear this shirt all the time. And then I believe it was also last year that I bought this shirt. This is from a vintage shop downtown called the Underground Attic. This shirt itself is not vintage, but it has a really vintage look to it. And it's so cute. I love the botanical print. So cottage core. This looks really cute under the overalls actually, but it also looks great with shorts and jeans and everything too, so you can see the full design. For shoes, I have these rose gold tongs, and then I have my another old faithful, these Roxy sandals. Are they called saltwater sandals? Possibly. Had these for a long time. We got them on an anniversary trip in San Diego and they're still holding up great and they're very comfortable as far as sandals go so i have these as like floating items my jacket this i got from stitch fix ages and ages ago but it's kind of a classic campaign jacket army jacket kind of look with a hood which i love but the hood is also detachable so i have that as kind of a floating item and then if situation calls for it my swimming suit could also be a floating item because it's spring and you never know if you're gonna need a coat or a swimsuit <laughs> depending on what the weather could do so that's five tops three bottoms two pairs of shoes and that is my whole capsule now my capsule wardrobe doesn't include jewelry which basically i just wear this necklace it's like a tortoiseshell kind of necklace. I basically just wear this necklace every day, <laughs> jewelry wise, and my Apple Watch and wedding ring. That's kind of all I do. So I don't include jewelry in my capsule, but if I do find myself getting kind of bored with my uniform <laughs> and my options, I could always add in some fun jewelry or hats, of which I have many. It's perfect for keeping the sun off. This one is also thrifted. I have this guy too. For a little bit different look and then i of course have my pink baseball cap that i love too for more casual outfit yeah so i'm not including workout clothes pajamas socks and underwear anything like that in my 10 items of course but yeah it's just a really fun little challenge to do a little refresh refamiliarize myself with my spring and summer clothes. It also is really nice because it just keeps things really simple for me to get dressed in the morning when I'm in a hurry. Edison's not out of school yet, so when I'm in a hurry to get him to class, just getting ready for the day, I don't have to think too much about it because I only have this many options. Keeps things really simple, which is perfect for summertime when I want to be focused on other things. In my full closet clean out video, which I will link, you can see my whole process as I went through all my clothes recently and decided what things to keep and what things to let go of. This closet transformation has been a long time coming. <laughs> I think our first trip to Ikea was at the end of January and now it's June. So projects are never as easy as you would think <laughs> or as straightforward, but I love how this turned out. I love having a solid wall here instead of a door. I'm really gonna love it once I have my mirror in place and it's just a beautiful cozy little corner in our bedroom that makes me excited to get dressed every day so that is definitely how your closet should make you feel excited to get dressed every day everything in there you should know looks good on you and feels great and you could literally close your eyes and pick something and love it if your closet isn't there don't despair. I have a free mini course. It's a four day course 
that walks you through how to get there with your closet, how to really pare it down to only having the things that you love. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below to sign up for that. And also, if you want to see more of my closet cleaning out process, you can click over here to watch that closet clean out video. I will see you guys next time for our full bedroom refresh reveal. As predicted, the mirror arrived. I guess I'll have to wait until my next video to see how it looks.